the Honda CRF 250L, as you see just there, is one of Honda's most successful dual sport bikes. But in 2017, it was updated. And weirdly enough, Honda decides to dress the 250L up in a little bit more decoration. And the CRF 250 Rally was born. Now these are two near identical bikes, but living with them can be quite different. So today, Jamie and I thought, put that to the test. So, what Mark and I have decided to do in order to have a look at this is ride each other's bikes. Now, a lot of people out there will probably single it down to the CRF 250 in some guise as being the bike they want to go for. So today we're gonna to have a ride of each other's, also give our opinions on what we've found as living with the bikes uh, and how we feel the difference between each other after today's rides uh, and what you might find important and what might be useful for you when you're gonna try and decide between these two Goliaths really of the lightweight dual sport world. Okay, mate, so you've just jumped off the rally. You've obviously yep. spent a year riding the L. What differences have you noticed? Do you know what? I really liked it. I didn't want to, I guess <laughs> I wanted to make sure that mine was just beat it hands down in every way. But actually, I really liked it. Um, there's, a, there's a couple of things that, that primarily jumped out to me. Uh, and one was the ride, just how it felt. It, it shouldn't feel different to that, but it felt planted. It felt sat, I, I could hit it, hit the, bumps and dips a bit harder than I would normally. I mean, it's worth commenting that we've both done suspension upgrades, but we've done exactly the same suspension upgrades. Yeah. So the planted feel can only come from, you know, a tiny bit extra long wheelbase and slightly plusher suspension maybe. Yeah. It's longer travel by about an inch, I think. But it, it made a difference to me. Um, yes, really, really nice. I never noticed that until I rode yours. The other one was it, it is bigger, but that didn't really take away from anything for me apart from when we were going through the niggly bits. Mm. We went around all those, those intricacies, it turns a bit slower, is what I did find. Uh, but actually, when you're then going on the longer bits, it feels nicer. So probably for commuting and stuff like that, it probably really does help out on I that I think bit. for really nice open trails, you can flow really quick. But you're right, as soon as you go through the, like, the real technical type bits, it can feel just that little bit bigger, can't it? It can, yeah. And that, that was the first thing I noticed when I, st when I stood it or got on it, is I wasn't used to all this. Mm. Now, I don't know whether that takes anything away or not. I, I, I just, it was just different. Um, obviously, mine has always been just felt like it's quite open, uh, but on yours, there's something there. And actually, I think that could really help when you're doing the nav and stuff like that, because I've had to buy little bits for the phone. So I like the utility of it. It was just different to see it again. Yeah, the nav mount up there, you've got everything in front of you. It's, you know, and it does make a difference. You just glance down and it's right there. So the yeah. screen can make a big difference, but that nav mount predominantly. Yeah, and I think the final thing for me that I really like, but it's, it's not something I've noticed on this, but it's something that I know about, and that's the, the fuel tank. You know, I know it's there. Um, if I was riding around on yours, I wouldn't have the worries or the, that thought in the back of my mind that oh, I need to keep an eye on this, I need to go and get some fuel. Because the L's got around about 7 point uh, something litres, yeah. and this has got a fraction over 10 litres. And, you know, a little goes a long way, doesn't it? It does when these get about 8 million miles to the gallon. Yeah. Uh, but actually, that takes a range. Of, I think I'd get around about 100 miles to a tank-ish, which is plenty. It is a lot. But if you're going out on a day's trails and you're hitting it hard and revving a lot more, then obviously that comes, comes right down. And it's, it's always been a thing between us that I'm the one that's almost having to uh, dictate when we stop to go and get fuel and yeah, thinking, yeah. Right, how long are we going to ride? You like the way it's more planted. It feels slightly bigger, but freer flowing on the trails. We've obviously got the tank. Is there anything that you thought when you got on it? I don't like this. I'm back to the L for X, Y, or Z. I've always liked the L's looks. Whenever you come out to your bike, and we all do it, you, it gives you a smile. And sometimes you look at it and mm. go, yeah. And I've always done that with, with the L. Uh, the other thing is the ride height's a bit higher on this. So for my short little legs, uh, it, it didn't feel as bad as I thought it was going to but it does feel a bit bigger, a little bit more cumbersome uh, for someone of my stature, of I my height. I think it's worth noting that the rally does come with, a, I think it's an extra inch of, of ground clearance, and obviously that comes from the slightly longer travel suspension. 
And the, the seat height actually only translates to around about half an inch worth of yeah, it's extra not much, height. But yeah. yeah, again, a little can make a lot of difference. But when I'm on tiptoes on that already, yeah, sure. and then I jump onto this, um, yeah, it wasn't massive, but I knew it was a bit bigger uh, and a bit heavier. And I know it's not loads heavier again, but it just feels heavy. I don't know if that helps with it feeling planted on, the, on those bumps. So maybe it's that little bit of it, almost like it's like going from something, a nimble little terrier dog to something a bit more cumbersome, but happy to hit away at those, yeah. those bumps and stuff. Um, but overall, yeah, it's a great piece of machinery and it's, uh, it doesn't feel a million miles away from the L, but I, for me, I, I think it does feel different, it, weirdly, and it shouldn't do. No, it shouldn't do. It shouldn't do, it's the same it does, bloody yeah. vibe. Right, so then mate, you've just jumped off of mine. Um, how did it feel riding the correct choice of Honda <laughs> 250? You know what, we're on the intercoms. And I think the first thing I said is, this feels like a little mountain bike in comparison <laughs> yeah, to mine. Yeah. It felt tiny. And, and we've just discussed how the rally is that little bit bigger, but not considerably. Uh, it it felt just nice. felt tiny. And I think I really liked that in a lot of senses because now I thought I, I'm well in control of all of this. You know, I can mm. do whatever I want with this bike and it's, I'm, yeah. you know, I'm the master of it. It's not the master of me. Yeah, it does make it nimble, I'm guessing. Yeah, nimble, really, really like flickable, I guess, um, if that's such a word to use on a, on a trail bike. I loved it and I thought, Wow, I can do I can do whatever I want on this thing, you know. But the the downside to that is, I felt a bit more exposed as well. Oh right, okay. Yeah. So when I started getting a bit more speed, right. Wow, there's, there's nothing here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's open. I can just there's nothing. You know, I was all over the bike and yeah, I felt very in control of it. I loved the size of it. Mate, and I, I heard you going for it because I heard it clanking off the bottom here. There's yeah, some, yeah. <laughs> something, a ping. It's, uh, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, as soon as I jumped on it, honestly, yeah. it yeah, made I, a big I, difference. I, I love it for the fact that you can see stuff right in front of the wheel yeah. as well. So obviously that, yours has got that thing, which is brilliant. It really is. Uh, yeah, that is open. You're absolutely right. And yeah, open stuff up. Maybe yeah. it's more vulnerable, whatever you want to call it. So. And then when we headed through the woods, properly just, I was all over it. And I said to you, Actually, leaning on the foot pegs, I felt like I could control the bike, I could manipulate its position easier and quicker than the rally. Yeah. And I think it's probably come from that slightly shorter wheelbase. It's only like a centimeter, uh, maybe 15 yeah, mil shorter. I think it makes a difference. And the rake is a few degrees different as well. I think it makes a difference. Yeah, I think, well, you, you're saying it turns in quicker. And I noticed that when we're going through the woods that yours was a little bit slower to turn into the bends and the corners and stuff. But when we headed out on the open road, I thought, Actually, all those things that are loved on the trail, really loved, maybe become so less important. So Ooh. I guess it really depends on how much road work you're doing and how much trail work you're doing. Yeah, so yeah, I think you're absolutely right. So um, I mean, there's elements about yours that obviously make it much more suited to the commuter, isn't it? I suppose. Yeah. Um, I, I take your point when we're talking about the rally of the looks, and I, you know, we both loved this thing when you bought it because you've obviously bought it brand new. We went to the, the showroom and all the rest of it. I think where one, where one part where Honda have let themselves down just a little bit is the non-LED indicators. And headlight. And headlight. Yeah. Why would you not do that? Why, why would you not do that, Honda? Honda. <laughs> They've put some beautiful LEDs on the rally, uh, and I know it's meant to be a more premium product because you pay the extra six, seven hundred pounds. Yeah. Whatever. But LEDs cost nothing. <laughs> and in today's, you know, modern biking day and age, I just expected it to have it. I mean, it, it has been a thing when we've gone out at night and I turn my candle on and you turn your... Searchlight. Searchlights <laughs> on. And for such identical bikes, and they are identical, same engine, same, same frame, same, all the rest of it, I, I couldn't get over how differently they felt. Really yeah. couldn't get over the, how differently they felt. Shouldn't. Shouldn't Should feel different. Next to no odds. <laughs> <laughs> what was the, your biggest drawbacks then? Was there, was, was there anything you've not already talked about? I think it was that feeling of exposure. Right. You know, maybe you like that. I, I, it put me on edge a little bit. And I said to you a few times, maybe it would make a difference if I raised the handlebars. I felt like I could easily go over the handlebars. Right, okay. You know? Whereas on the rally, I just never feel like that. Right. It feels solid. And you know what? I'm a bit taller than you. I'm six foot. 
Um, and maybe the ergonomics of the L just don't work as well with somebody my height. Maybe that's a thing. Yeah, maybe, maybe it is. Uh, and maybe, yeah, that just suits better, you know? I, of course, again, we didn't feel it, but I'll reiterate, that fuel tank. We've been out so many times around on the trans Euro Trail, wherever. It's like, mate, I'm down to my last few bars. I'm like, yeah, I've got the same sort of indicated on my bike. It translates to a much bigger range, yeah, just a couple of bars. And... I suppose the, the one thing that we've not discussed on either of them, um, although we've talked around it, is the weight. Mm. The weight, you know, this is a lighter bike. I mean, you, I don't know if you felt that much riding it. I, I felt it a bit on yours. Yeah, a little bit. I think it all comes down into that that manoeuvrability. I don't think there's any one thing, like, there's no one thing that jumps out at you and goes, but this is a significant winner to this. It's more like a sum of its parts. Because it carries a little less weight, because it's got the wood juice wheelbase, the slightly shorter rake, because it feels less, um, you know, there's less screen in there. I think it all comes together like a more flickable, nimble, you know, off-road package. That's why I'm always doing the back flips. That's because why you, that's why you're doing the jumps and the wheelies, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Exactly. Whereas the rally, I'll confess, feels a bit heavier, feels a bit more planted, but to me that feels better on the trails. It, to be fair, it feels like that momentum is just gonna it's just gonna push through anything in front of it. And yeah, maybe that does feel like it's it's more open to external impact of the trails and stuff. Cool man, uh, I don't think we need to say any more about that. I think we should go for a little bit more of a ride and then we'll wrap it up for these people. Let's do that. Okay, so that's us back off another ride. Um, loved riding that thing, by the way. Uh, I guess just to sort of sum it all up then, the rally just carries its weight a little bit better. I guess on the free flowing tracks, it feels more planted. It feels almost safer. A little bit smoother, I would say. Yeah, a little bit smoother. Um, but at the drawback of being a bit heavier and a bit more enclosed. Yeah. Whereas the rally, it's an absolute blast. Uh, sorry, the L is a blast. It feels a lot more mountain bike style and it feels like you can control it a bit. But out on the open road, it, I guess it feels a lot more exposed and to me that lets it down a little bit. Yeah, there's not much in it. There really isn't. All the stuff that we're talking about is minimal. There's really not much at all. Um, but yeah, I think that was a, a little bit more of a terrier to put it in dog terms, that's perhaps more of a Labrador. <laughs> yeah, yeah, super energetic still, quick. Yeah, playful, but, pl but, but, but just, just a bit more substantial. Yeah, I guess that's the way. Um, I guess the biggest piece of advice I could give you, or anybody thinking about buying the pair, is go and try them both. Go ride it, ride as many as you can, but if you can, if you can get out on the road and you can go down a lane, perfect. Yeah. And try and do them both though, I would say that's what we did. Isn't yeah, it? don't look at the tech specs and think, you know, they're practically the same bike. I'm, all I'm buying is a screen and an LED headlight. Don't think that they, they feel very different having ridden both bikes, you know, quite a bit now. Yeah, so Go out and try them. Um, so I guess as a, as a bit of a summary, which one would you go out and buy? Oh, there's no question. I was correct. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so you, you yeah. would head out and get the L again? I'd go out and get the L. I love the looks of it. I like the nimble stuff. Uh, I am going to upgrade it. I accepted that when I bought it. Bigger fuel tank, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I still love it. It still puts a smile on my face. How about you? Uh, you know what? I, and I'm not just saying this for contention, but I would buy another rally. I, I think it's lovely. It suits my height, my build, the, the style of riding that I like. It's, it feels more adventure to me, but they, we have proven that they're both incredibly um, successful at that so so there you go in conclusion by either the rally or the L because they're both fantastic <laughs> <laughs> all right anyway I hope you enjoyed the video please like comment subscribe do all the good stuff take it easy out on the trails and until next time stay safe stay safe bye bye I'm only a little fellow and I'm not the most hench. I know the camera probably doesn't show that. But uh, no, it, it makes a difference. It probably does. <laughs>